I'm not really sure yet because I haven't worked. So, but I do know that according to the U.S. Uh, labor statistics, um, it's around eighty-four thousand dollars annually. <laughs> Um, اسمي روان عبد الحليم من السودان مولوده متربيه بجده Bioinformatics is mostly based on using uh, computational techniques to manage or manipulate biological data so we will be able to store this data as well as manage it to find out if there is any um, underlying patterns in the data Uh, if there is any mutation in a DNA sequence, for example. So uh, we will just manipulate this data and analyze it to try to understand what makes up, for example, a DNA sequence. Um, I've always been a fan of anything related to chemistry. So when I first came to Malaysia, uh, my brother was already here and I thought it would be a good idea to join him uh, in the same university. So the closest thing I found was bioinformatics. And when I was looking at the course structure, I saw that there is pharmacology, there is organic chemistry, there's human anatomy. So these are all things I really liked when I was in school. And at the same time, it also, it also has a lot of um, IT fields like IT security, Um, programming different languages, so many coding and programming languages. So I thought it was a cool idea to join bioinformatics. You need to have a solid background on IT subjects in general, not just biology. So even if you're interested in biology or chemistry, you need to have a, a good idea about Um, IT tools, softwares, programming languages, as I said. Uh, if, especially if you really like coding, then I think that bioinformatics would be one of the perfect fields for you. Um, as I said, in bioinformatics, we will be able to analyze biological data, but bioinstrumentation is, um, is where you develop of high-tech instruments or measurement instruments that will gather biological data. So here's the difference. We will be, as a bioinformatician, we work on biological data, but bioinstrumentation is where you will develop high-tech instruments to, yeah, to gather this information. Um, biomedical engineering, you can say it's another name for bioinformatics because in the field of bioinformatics, you will you'll be able to see that there's other multiple fields like engineering, statistics, mathematics, and biology, so and computer science, of course. So you'll find so many fields in one major. Uh, different subjects, when it comes to bio subjects, you'll f see that there's anatomy, human anatomy, um, chem biochemistry, organic chemistry, even ethics. Um, There's so many, I, there, I can't even remember them anymore, but when it comes to IT uh, subjects, there is uh, data mining, which is one of the very important uh, subjects in bioinformatics, because we will mine for data to see what, let's say if we have uh, genomic data, we will want to see if there's a mutation, Uh, if there's anything we can use for the purpose of designing drugs or treatments or anything of that kind. So data mining was one of the subjects uh, I really enjoyed. And then there's also statistical subjects, mathematics um, and, um, you know, other IT subjects in general, computer science subjects. Some of the really important courses are like Rapid Miner uh, and other bioinformatics tools and softwares like uh, Uniprot, NCBI, and protein databases in general. So these databases will help you understand the underlying purpose of biomolecules 
uh, like how protein comes about and how we can use this protein for treatment and how um, in general, how we can use this protein information to design drugs, etc. So it's very interesting in terms of uh, biology. And other tools, um, for example, Linux is very important. Uh, I have used Linux before for DNA sequencing. So we will sequence the DNA once again. We will see if there is any mutation in this DNA and use it for treatment, for example. There's so many job opportunities when it comes to bioinformatics. Actually, there, there's like so many multiple opportunities ranging from food industry, for example, um, genetically modified foods, if you have heard of them, GMOs, and how we can use bioinformatics tools to produce food that is not just higher in nutritional value, but even looks better and has a longer shelf life. So. Food industry is one, and then there's also pharmaceutical industry uh, where you design drugs. Um, uh, and another thing, you can also work in the IT field if you don't want to work in the biology field. So it's just endless, actually. There's so many opportunities. Research centers, hospital labs, forensics. Forensic studies is where, uh, you know, if, if you're a fan of crime scenes and you want to know, oh, who's the murderer of a certain, you know? Uh, so. Yeah, there's, there's endless possibilities. Depends on what you're interested in. Yes, there's a very high need for bioinformaticians because people usually don't have the domain knowledge. Like, for example, if I'm a, if I'm a doctor, I wouldn't really be good in IT. So they would need someone who is a specialist in both biology and IT so that um, they can benefit the healthcare system. So if a hospital, let's say they want, um, they want some certain data database for their patients or they want a certain application, then they would need someone who understands both fields, bio and IT, to solve their problems. So yeah, I think it's very rare to see bioinformaticians nowadays and they will be highly needed in the future. I'm not really sure yet because I haven't worked, so, but I do know that according to the US uh, labor statistics, um, it's around $84,000 annually. <laughs> to be honest, even before coming here, I wasn't really prepared for this, but uh, as I was going on with the semesters and everything, I realized that it's really important to have good skills in IT in general, because when it comes to biology, you can just understand the facts and the terms and the concepts, but IT, you, you need actual skills. You need uh, to love it. You need to understand what code you're writing and how it works. It's not easy to learn the mechanism behind a certain code or you know the math behind it, but it's the most important thing ever because without IT, I mean, come on, everything is, is leading or going through, I mean, going to, towards artificial intelligence and uh, to have good IT skills is basically a prepared for the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video beneficial to you. And if you have any more questions, please click the link in the description below and like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.